Nestled away in the ancient Blue Ridge Mountains, Asheville, North Carolina is situated in one of the most breathtakingly beautiful regions of the U.S. In and around this town that has often been labeled a hippie haven, there are some of the best hiking trails on the eastern seaboard. Hundreds of trails twist and wind their way through the majestic North Carolina mountains. Regardless of whether you're looking to go on a quick day trip before hitting up town to experience Asheville's wonderful nightlife, or interested in a multi-day backpacking excursion, this video should help you make the best out of your next Asheville hiking experience. Moore Cave Falls Trail This 1.2-mile trail may be one of the easiest and most leisurely waterfall hikes in the Asheville area, but it's one you and your family won't soon forget. It's a well-maintained trail that mostly goes downhill on the way in. It features lush greenery, colorful wildflowers, and several bridges that take you over bubbling creeks. It won't take you long to find your way to the wooden viewing platform that overlooks the 50-foot waterfall. To view the falls from another angle, you can trek out to the rocks that go behind the falls. If you do this, however, be sure you're wearing shoes with lots of traction and watch your step. Craggy Gardens Trail you can find this 1.9-mile trail right off the Blue Ridge Parkway. At milepost 364, you'll come upon a trailhead bearing the trail's name. It's known for being one of the best trails in close proximity to Asheville due to its vibrant wildlife and foliage. There are wildflowers and rhododendrons blooming all along the trail in the springtime, and the autumn colors are absolutely gorgeous. After trekking through the forest, you'll come upon a summit meadow area where you'll find wild-growing blackberries and blueberries in the late summer. The trail offers incredible views of the surrounding Pisgah National Forest. You can clearly see the summits of Mount Craig and Mount Mitchell looming off in the distance. Bring a bite to eat to refuel as there is a lovely little picnic area at the end of the trail. Frying Pan Mountain Lookout Tower Trail this 1.5-mile trail just south of town offers hikers sweeping views of the Blue Ridge Mountains. The trail begins at a parking area found at milepost 409.6 off the Blue Ridge Parkway. It climbs towards the summit on a path that's dotted with wildflowers and berries on both sides. Three quarters of a mile in, you'll come upon the historic 700-foot-tall steel tower that the trail is named after. It was once used for rangers to keep a lookout for forest fires in the region, but it's now open to visitors hoping to catch a glimpse of landmarks like Mount Pisgah, Cold Mountain, and Looking Glass Rock. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already, and stick around for more of the best of the trails of Asheville. Sam Knob Trail We'd recommend this 2.5-mile trail to hikers with moderate fitness and experience levels. It can be found about 40 miles from downtown Asheville at milepost 420 off the Blue Ridge Parkway. It features a moderate gradient along a wildflower-lined gravel road that will take you through the woods before emptying out into a broad and spacious meadow. After crossing the meadow and ascending a set of wooden stairs, you'll begin your ascent up the mountain. A mile in, you'll reach the summit. From there, you'll be treated to extraordinary views with Black Balsam Knob to the east and the Devil's Courthouse to the south. Surrounding you are the Shining Rock and Middle Prong Wildernesses. Mount Pisgah This mountain is one of the tallest and most iconic in North Carolina, clocking in at about 5,200 feet in elevation. If you want to reach its summit, you can take the trail that can be found at mile point 407.7, just south of town. The first leg of the two and a half mile trail is pretty easy, with very little gradient. But from there on out, it's a steep and steady ascent upwards. There are several staircases that you'll have to climb on your way to the summit as well. About a mile in, you'll come upon a prominent rock outcrop that makes for a great viewing spot of the Frying Pan Mountain Tower. You might want to stop there to take a little break and drink some water. After that, all your hard work will be rewarded when you reach a wooden observation deck where you'll enjoy the stunning views around you. You can see the city of Asheville out to the northeast, Cold Mountain to the west, and Frying Pan Mountain out to the southwest. Bridal Veil Falls Trail If you've ever seen the film The Last of the Mohicans, then you've probably seen Bridal Veil Falls. The falls reside in the DuPont State Recreational Forest, and there are several trails that will take you there, but the most popular is this 4.4-mile one. The trail twists and winds through a beautiful stretch of the forest. About halfway through the trek, you'll reach a wooden platform at the base of the 120-foot-tall waterfall. 
If you want to get closer to take a picture, there's a dirt path that will take you to the fall's base. Once again, we'd advise only hikers with a moderate level of experience to attempt this trail. While there aren't many elevation changes, it is long enough to be challenging to those who might not be as fit. Hawksbill Mountain Trail This 2.4-mile trail offers hikers stunning views. We highly recommend attempting to watch a sunset here if possible. Hawksbill Mountain is situated on the eastern end of the Linville Gorge and offers 360-degree panoramic vistas. The hike to the mountain's peak isn't very long, but it does involve a moderate level of elevation gain. You can find the trailhead off of North Carolina Forest Service Road 210. The trail takes you deep into a pine and hardwood forest that gets continuously steeper the farther back you go. About a mile in, you'll reach the summit. To get back to town, simply double back the way you came. Mount Mitchell Trail This 11.3-mile trail isn't for the faint of heart. Mount Mitchell is the tallest of the Appalachian Mountains as well as the highest point eastward of the Rocky Mountains. While this trail is quite strenuous, once you make it to the summit, you'll feel as if all your hard work was worth it. From its peak, you'll be treated to some of the most jaw-droppingly beautiful views in the region. Keep in mind there's an elevation gain of about 3,700 feet, so make sure you come with plenty of water and food. There are additionally many large rocks and routes you'll have to navigate over and around along the way. The trailhead, if you think you're up for the challenge, can be found at the Black Mountain Campground. Art Lobe Trail If you're thinking about tackling this trail, make sure you pack for a multi-day backpacking excursion. This 28.5-mile trail offers one of the most strenuous hikes in the area. Along the way, you'll have to make your way across numerous ridges, peaks, and valleys. The hike begins at the Davidson River Campground and extends past the Blue Ridge Parkway. It crosses a couple of the highest black balsam summits before finally bringing you to Cold Mountain. There are numerous campsites along the trail, so make sure you use them. Most people will generally need at least a couple days to complete this expert-level trail. Looking Glass Rock Trail This nearly six-mile long trail takes you to the scenic Looking Glass Rock, where you'll find some truly awe-inspiring views of the surrounding mountains. Along the way, you can stop to marvel at Looking Glass Falls and the Cradle of Forestry, both of which reside in Pisgah National Forest. After venturing out into a fern-covered forest, the trail winds westwards and begins a relentless upward climb to the summit, ascending over 1,700 feet. The elevation gain can be pretty intense and will require you to be physically fit. As such, we recommend this trail only to expert hikers. But if you do try halfway through, when the forest opens up at 2.5 miles in, you'll be rewarded with 180-degree views of the lush valley below. If you attempt it during rainy months, be on the lookout for slippery rocks and steep drop-offs. Graybeard Trail This expert-level 8.8-mile trail is located about 20 miles east of town. It's a beautiful trail no matter what time of year you choose to take it, but it's charming in mid to late fall when the leaves are changing colors. The trail departs from a gravel-paved parking lot and takes you through a dense hardwood forest before ascending Greybeard Mountain. While the trail isn't particularly long, it is one grueling upwards ascent nearly the entire way. A mile and a half in, you'll find a short spurring trail that will take you to the lovely Greybeard Falls. Once again, we would probably only recommend this trail to hikers who have a bit of experience under their belt, as it can be quite arduous. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any trails that you like in Asheville? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.